Hi guys and welcome to a new video. This week I'm going to be showing you how to fix a lawnmower that's got a hunting or surging problem. Um, and this is specific to the Briggs & Stratton engines with the plastic carburettors. So this is a 450E, um, but it'll be same on all the Briggs & Stratton engines that have got plastic carburettor. It's a very, very common problem with this engine with the plastic carb, so I'm going to show you how to fix it in this video. Let's give this a start up and I can show you the surging problem and I'm sure lots of you out there are having the same problem. <laughs> I'd say this is such a common problem with this particular engine, mainly because the new engines have certain emission standards that they've got to meet, so they make the carburetor jet so small um, that any fragment of dirt inside there is going to cause your engine to starve of fuel, and you'll just get enough through for it to, to run, but it will run rubbish like this one is. So we need to take the carburetor off, give it a thorough clean inside, and make sure that those jets are completely clean and clear. Um, First of all you want to remove the filter cover so you lift this plastic tab up at the top and then just pull it away. Take the filter out, you can give this a clean while it's off, just soak it in some old petrol or perhaps use some washing up liquid and hot water or degreaser. And now there's just four bolts to remove. We've got two seven mils and two eight mils. We've got one down here, remove that one, we've got one here, that's the 7mm, remove that one, and one here. And then this piece just pulls off. If you've still got fuel in the lawnmower, you can get some forceps or a hose clamp and just stop the flow of fuel to the carburetor. This hose here comes off the bottom of the fuel tank and into the carb. So if we just pinch that hose, we shouldn't have any fuel going into the carb and we shouldn't spill any. And then we're gonna remove this hose clamp just with some pliers, slide that back there and then withdraw this carburetor from the engine it round just wiggle that off like that and then twist the carburetor and there we go it's removed from the engine let's take these rubber this rubber seal and the plastic retainer off of the inlet so with the carburetor on the bench the first thing you want to do is clean the outside of it and for that, I'm going to be using some WD-40, but you could use carb spray on this. Um, I just prefer to use WD-40 these days because it's a bit cheaper uh, than keep buying carb spray. I do go through it. So put a bit of that on there, carb spray, WD-40, and then just use a toothbrush to try and get all the dirt off the outside. And you want to clean the outside of the carburetor first before you open it up so that you don't transfer dirt to the inside of the carb. If you flip the carburetor upside down, you can drain out the fuel. Whenever you're dealing with fuel systems, cleanliness is next to godliness. When you're happy that it's nice and clean on the outside of the carb, we can take the float bowl off, and that's just two 7mm bolts on the bottom of the carb. To get the float bowl off, you just get a little screwdriver in this gap here and give it a twist. Do the same on this side, give it a twist to prise it apart. Same on this side and over here. There we go. We're inside the carb and I can already see a little bit of dirt inside there and a little bit of dirt inside there as well. So we need to give this a thorough clean. We'll start off with the float bowl. And once a piece is clean, I'm just going to put it to one side. There really aren't many components to these plastic carbs. You've got this float here, the float valve, 
this pin which holds the float and float valve assembly together. So let's pop this pin out. Just push it through. That's clean, put it to one side. You see this needle valve? That just slides out of the float like that and give the float a clean. Once it's clean, put it to one side. To get this piece out, we can either get a little screwdriver inside here, but I don't really want to do that because you might end up damaging the seal. So just get some pliers, get a nice grip on there with the pliers, and just pull it straight out like that. We want to squirt all up in these holes, make sure they're all clear. All up in here. Absolutely flood it through. And if you've got some compressed air, it's a good idea to use some of that. Once you're happy the car body's clean and all these holes are clear, put this to one side. It's not too expensive just to replace this part and I'll put a link in the description below to a brand new one and you can just swap that out and hopefully it should fix the problem for you. But I'm going to be showing you how to clean this one. So we need to make sure all these holes are clear. This is the main jet. You've got a pilot jet. You just need to strip this apart. So just get a screwdriver in here. Give it a twist to separate this piece. Let's start with this piece. You see this hole inside here. Just get some spray and make sure that's clear. And if you've got some compressed air, just blow that through as well. And now we've got to clean this piece. If you're using carb spray, just be careful of these rubber seals because carb spray is quite aggressive and it could damage these seals. So it's worth taking these off if you're using carb spray. We can spray up in here with that. Just make sure all the holes are nice and clear. I've seen a few videos about how to clean these carbs, but nobody ever pops a ball bearing out the top. Not that I've seen anyway. So just get something that goes in the end. And be careful you don't lose it. And just pop the ball bearing out. And that way you can just make sure that there isn't any dirt stuck behind the ball bearing. through with a needle I know lots of people say don't do this but I've always done it it's been fine I'm happy that it's clear all the way through these emulsion tube holes are all clear and put that back in the top you can get this piece and slip that over That's clear, that's clear, that's clear, and that's clear. Let's reassemble the carburetor. So first of all, we can put this piece in. Oh, it only goes one way around. There we go. It won't fit in that way around. So that's quite straightforward. Push that in there. Now we can get the float and needle valve. Slide that back into the float. Get this pin, put it through the float, and then that can be dropped into position. And then it just clips into place. 
and we can test that the needle valve is seating properly by blowing through here to simulate fuel going into the carburetor and once it's full up the float will rise and then stop the fuel coming in. Let's put the float bowl back on, it'll only actually go one way round and then put your bolts back in. Zip it up. And before putting this back onto the lawnmower, we put our rubber O-ring in here first, and then this white plastic retainer. If you had dirt in your carburetor, and it was running bad, I'd say it's a good idea to replace the fuel. So at this point, I'd probably get a small pot and just drain this fuel into a container so that when you put it all back together, you can put some fresh fuel in there um, so that you don't block your nice clean carb up again. You just put the throttle linkage through this hole, reconnect the fuel hose, And then you just push the carburetor onto the engine, put the hose clamp back on. And you can put the filter housing back on. Just make sure this breather pipe goes on the back. If you remember, you've got two 7mm and two 8mm bolts. The two 8mm, one of them goes up in here. And the other one goes up in here. And the two 7mm bolts, one goes in here. And the other one is under here. Put your air filter on. So we've got the car back on here. Let's give it a start up and see if we fix the surging problem. a quick card clean and we've got this lawnmower running much better now i hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already subscribed if you click the little alarm bell you'll get notifications when i post new videos and hopefully i'll see you in the next one cheers guys take care